we will see whenever we run a transaction and whenever we deploy a contract we will see there's a section of ether right and there's also a section of way way and finny and ether right so let's just try to understand what are they now just like in any other uh, system uh, let's say for let's take an example of india in india we have in which uh, one rupee uh, is equals to uh, 100 paise right uh, and the same for us dollar when us dollar is equal to 100 cents just the same in that case in ethereum your one ether uh, let's say for ethereum ethereum uh, we used ether as its currency right so now what does the use of this ether now ether ether uh, is used in several purposes right so whenever you send a transaction right uh, it also used to pay let's say it used to pay the transaction fee right so uh, whenever you make a transaction the fee is paid by in the terms of ether right now now ether is also have its lot of categories i make a list of these things now we have now way is the smallest one then we have gigaway then we have this uh, m way we have then we have kiloway then we have uh, the m way and we have gigaway microway micro ether milli ether uh, it's also as finny and then we have ether now uh, you will also need to understand your one ether one ether is close to around 10 to the power 18 10 to the power 18 let's say 18 way right so this means now one ether is equal to 10 to the power 18 way uh, that is huge means this one is the smallest unit and the ether is the largest unit right and if you look at the section of this deployed and transaction you will see the section of value then we have way then we have giga way finny and ether the same as these things right now let's make a contract and just see how we can implement that right so let's just make a contract right over here uh, let's say make a contract contract of uh, ether uh, let's say way right now we're gonna be using a uint over here right which is non uh it is unsigned integer which is going to be a public function public keyword right over here and let's say we can be using one way right now one way uh we can write over here let like one way right we can write in this manner also and uh, we can also write a comment right over here that uh, one way is equals to one right over here right so one way is equals to one way in this matter now we can also make a boolean we can use pool for boolean this is a public and it's going to be is one way let's say we're going to be trying with this up let's say one way is equal to one that's going to be using that right over here right then we're going to be using another function we're going to be using another uint right over here it's going to be a public of one ether and this one ether is going to be one ether right and uh, this means that one ether which you will write in right over here is equals to uh, 10 to the power 10 to the power 18 10 to the power 18 way right so let's say make a boolean right over here again it's going to be a public function public keyword right over here is one way let's say it's one ether it's going to be going to be checking this thing ether is equals to equals to one right so we are not going to be using one we are going to be using one e and 
28 right so this means is that this the e stand for the e notation so uh, this means that it's equals to a high huge number so uh, e notation e notation yeah so if you look at this e notation essentially a way of expressing numbers if they are too large right so that's why we're going to be using 10 e to the 18 right this means if you look at this if you just copy this and uh, let's say just say this meaning now this means uh 1 to the power 1 10 to the power 18 right as we already specify that uh this means 10 to the power 18 right which is equals to 10 1 and then 18 0 right that's huge right so that's all now if we just run the contract compile the contract and then deploy the contract uh, you will see it's deploy the contract and uh, over here we got this is one eth which is this function now if one ether as i already specified that one ether is equal to 10 to the power 18 and uh, this notation means the same it will be written true click on this yeah it's true now if i now this is one way is one way this one because one way is equal to one as i already mentioned so if i click on this is one way is equal to true as well right so that's how you can use ether and way in your contract even if i just click on this one eighth which i already specify it is equals to uh this humongous number now this equals to uh, now this zeros are are going to be 18 zero so uh if we just search for 10 to the power 18 it will it turn us to 18 zero right that's what the same now this one way is equals to one because i already specified that this one way is equals to one yeah that's all for this video